Linda. We have a, a question from Jane Engel in uh, Montreal. As for alternative ownership regimes, you gave collective, collective examples. What about land as self-sovereign, consistent with rights of nature and many indigenous legal systems? So cool. There are new movements about that, right? Um, so places like Ecuador, um, there are those rights in New Zealand, rivers and other places have those rights. And I'm curious to see how that happens in the United States um, and how that rolls out. I think that that is um, one way to offer a set of protections because the historic social environmental relations have become so severed. But when we look at most landscapes that are preserved or what you consider preserved, there's really very few places in the world that is not touched by human kind. There's always been people who live there. And the people, and you know, like Bill Cronin writes about New England, when the settlers arrived, they found this incredible landscape that they thought was ideal, but it had been completely created by the native peoples who lived here, who managed the landscapes in a way that provided for the abundance in a way that also met the needs of um, indigenous peoples here. So the when the I think the human and the environmental relations are really close knit in this way, and land rights and an Eleanor Ostrom approach supports and encourages that sustainment of that relationship, that's where you have people who are there to also advocate and protect that land. It can be actually short of like a very powerful government, even if you protected land, how do you make sure that loggers aren't there or, or miners are not there, right? There, so giving the legal rights is one thing, but having the protections of it. Um, sometimes I'm not sure that a conservation ideal is the only way to, to reach that, I guess. So I guess I'm not against the rights. I'm saying that more than the rights is needed. And I suppose that's actually a theme for the broader conversation. It's not enough to have cooperative or dynamic rights. Other things build upon those land use institutions.